28.9 left on the clock. 28.9! And that cost the Hawks to moving in to fourth place in the Central Division! Yes, the Hawks lose 4-3 to the Carolina Hurricanes with 28.9 on the clock. And that goal was on Lakin it. He should not have played it the way he did. That cost the Hawks this game, cost them a point, and cost them a chance to move back into fourth place in the for the final spot in the Central Division playoffs. 28.9. And that's what cost it. The Hawks battled well in tonight's action after the they scored their first goal in uh, the game. But afterwards, they could not gain momentum from their goals. Let's look at the shots of the game. Why not? 13 to 3 to the Hurricanes of the first period. 8 to 11 in favor for the Chicago Blackhawks in the second period. 10 to 11 for your Chicago Blackhawks in the third period. 31 to 25 for the Hurricanes in tonight's game. Total shots on net. Right there, as you can see, in the first period, the Hawks were on their heels, and they couldn't play hockey, it looked like. Then, face-off percentage. 52% of the time, the Hurricanes won. To the Hawks, 47% of the time at the dot. And it cost them. The Hawks cost them at the dot. Kane took the last face-off that led to the goal in... Um, that led to the goal that cost the point to the Hawks. Power play. 0 for 3 for the Hawks. 0 for 1 for the Hurricanes. Hits 33 to 17 in favor for the Hurricanes. It was a rough way to lose. The Hawks are looking to battle for a playoff spot. And they cost it. They had an opportunity to get the one at least one point in tonight's action and they blew it with 28.9 on the clock let's look at the goals of the game why not in the first period by the hurricanes at 948 in the first period vincent trocek scores his 14th of the season assisted by dougie hamilton and just for boss to make it a one nothing game for the Hurricanes. This goal was, in my opinion, should not have counted because Andrei Svechikov cross-checks at a bull quiz to keep him out of play, leading to a, should have been an interference call that the ref somehow did not see in a goal score for the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes had all momentum in the first period, and they took that momentum early into the second period. At 2.22 in the second period, Warren Farrell goal with his first of the night, seventh of the season, assisted by Jordan Stahl and Nito Niederreiter. This goal was a weird goal that went in, leading to the Hurricanes to have a 2-0 lead. So... The Hawks are now down by two, and they look lost. They don't have any momentum on their side, cannot get any plays out of their own zone. They were stuck until 15-21 in the second period, scored by number eight, Dominic Kubalik. His 12th of the season, assisted by number 48, Wyatt Kellenock. And number 44, Calvin Dahan to make it a one goal game. After this, Hawks have momentum. Moving the puck and we go into the third period. In the third period where goals were just a plenty and this cost the Hawks the game in the last minute. 
So at 546 in the third period, score by number 38, Brandon Hagel. His fifth of the season, assisted by number 77, Kirby Doc. Doc gets the puck and shoots it down the shoots it on net for a rebound, leading to Hagel in the paint and getting it in past Reimer to tie it up. But the goal that tie game does not stand at 654 in the third period. Warren Fogel with his second of the night, eighth of the season, assisted by Niederreiter and Stoll to make it a 3-2 Hurricanes lead again. This goal was like one of those weird goals where the puck is bouncing all over the ice and it gets in, where Fogel gets it behind the net and goes between the legs, hits Kalanuk's leg and into our net. 3-2 Hurricanes. But the Hawks are not done scoring. At 10-24 in the third period. Scored by number 17. Dylan Strom. His seventh of the season. Assisted by number 5. Connor Murphy. And number 13. Matthias Janmark. To make it a 3-3 game in the third. Right after that goal was scored, Strom tips it in from a shot from Murphy and it gets well deflected down into the net. Hawks tie it up. Momentum should be on the Hawks' side, but no. Hawks and Hurricanes knew this is a big game for two points and the Hurricanes managed to win it. So, the final goal of the game, as I've said, with 28.9 on the clock, Jeff Swerfoss scores his fifth of the season, assisted by Vincent Trotrek and Brett Pesci to make it a 4-3 Hurricanes win. Yeah. The Hawks had an opportunity with 40 seconds on the clock where Kane sauce pass a beautiful puck pass over to Kubalik and Kubalik couldn't bury it to make it a 4-3 lead for the Hawks and the Hawks have to go to a faceoff and Suter gets tossed Kane goes to the dot to try and win the draw Kane loses it the Hurricanes get control of the puck take it up the ice uh, Trocek shoots it on and Lakening gets down caught in the splits wide out of the net kind of and Foss goes top shelf on the Hawks and make it a 4-3 Hurricanes win. This game cost the Hawks a point in getting themselves moved ahead of the Trashville Predators. Their next opponent on Saturday. Yes. This is why I'm more frustrated. You want to take these points. And they don't. They cost themselves in regulation. And lost to the Hurricanes. So next game. Step it up. And get your act together. Because that right there. Is unacceptable. So, I know you guys did not enjoy the outcome, but thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, get your game together, Hawks, because it's buckle up time for the race for the playoffs. And let's go, Hawks.